Hi everybody, welcome back. It is time for me to update you as well as begin our new Mini Madness Rolling Project Pan. I had explained in um, a video that I did, I don't know if, I don't know which one's going out first, so I'll explain it again here. I actually had filmed this quite a few weeks ago. I know because we're already in February now, um, but my memory card went to poo. So it lost all of my footage. And two, I just had a lot of stuff going on. Um, we had a death in our family. My ring light went out. I had to get a new one. All kinds of little, if it could happen, it was happening. So I'm kind of late on getting video uploaded, but that's okay because we are here now. So I am going to go over my end year review of Mini Madness Rolling Pan from last year. And then we will begin Mini Madness Rolling Project Pan part three. So if you are new and unfamiliar with what Mini Madness Rolling Project Pan is, um, my friend Aura at Oops Wrong Cookie created this. Um, it is a project pan where you take sample size items, deluxe size items, and you start off with 10. And as you use one up, you roll a new one in. It's a great way to get through all your sample products if you're like me and have like three drawers full of them. Um, and just try to get through those products. It's a great way to find new products that become like holy grails um, that, you know, become products that you are going to purchase over and over again now, you know, to try and discover things out. And it's just a lot of fun. It's really simple. It's the only kind of panning I can get behind because I just, I can't get behind the concept of using something up until it's completely gone because I bought it because I love it. I don't want to use it all up <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know, it's that kind of mentality or whatever I have. So without any further ado, let's get into it and wrap up last year and tell you all about it. So I'm not going to go over every single product that I used up. I will pull out some highlights of some products that I really think stood out for me that I really, really ended up loving. Um, but if you want to see all of the products that were added, finished, tossed, whatever, you can watch that playlist. I will link that playlist down below for you uh, so you can get caught up on all of those. But all in all total, I ended up adding 35 items to my project pan, 35. I know for some people that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you have a lot of like Holy Grail staples that you can't use other things to replace them, you just really can't, <laughs> then it's a big deal when you get through 35 little products, let me just tell you. So I did end up behind with five products that did not get finished up. Uh, first one up here is the Ren. This is the Ready Steady Glow AHA Tonic. This is an amazing AHA Tonic. It's a little bit too harsh for me to use in the winter time um, because it is a pretty strong alpha hydroxy tonic. Uh, I did get through half of it though. You use so very little, it's a toner. Uh, did I see it make any results? yes and no i mean i really didn't see it do anything bad so whether it was doing anything good for my skin really can't tell you i have a lot of really good skincare that i use so it's hard to see if one little thing is making a difference in the entire regimen or not but i can say this it didn't cause any problems in the regimen so i didn't notice myself breaking out or anything like that so was it a good product sure would i buy it probably not the bite lipstick in rhubarb which I finally actually have this time. I usually never have to show you guys, but here's where we're at. We still, I still have half of this stick left. It just takes a really long time to get through a lipstick. I don't care how big it is. I have come to decide that I'm not gonna add even a mini lipstick in to this next Mini Madness Roundup that I go through um, because I enjoy this color and I love it and I wear it often, I really do. But trying to make it a goal to finish it up, especially when I can't get these anymore, not on my top list of things to do. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer, almost used all of it. It was okay, but I really, I didn't like kind of the tick, the sticky texture it left um, on my skin. Um, I know some people would like that because, you know, it makes your, you know, foundation stick a little bit better. But when you're somebody who's dealing with texture in your skin, like in large pores like mine are, I just have really big pores, I always have. Um, fine lines, wrinkles, things like that something that's sticky you kind of don't want the foundation necessarily to stick to it you kind of want it to glide and I found that it made that a little bit more difficult for my foundation to move around with this one so that's not one I would recommend or buy again and last but not least I never got up the courage to use this <laughs> it's the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask I don't know if I'll ever get up the courage to use it I hope one day I do 
I still have it. I know my friend Kitty, she used it. Uh, she had the courage to do it. I'm not so sure if I do. Like I said, it's the whole thought of this heating up on my face that just absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> and then the last thing I didn't get finished, which was the uh, Diva Curl uh, Lock into Moisture Deep Conditioning. It is actually upstairs in my shower. It's not the best deep conditioner. Um, I've come to find out, I've tried a few things from Deva Curl or Diva Curl, however you pronounce it now. Not my favorite brand of curling product at all. I, mm -mm. I just, uh, there's something about it. Um, I, maybe it just doesn't mesh with my hair. It doesn't like my hair's texture, um, but that's okay because I really kind of don't like it either. So um, not something I will probably be using or purchasing in the future. Give a sample, sure, I'll try it out, but it wouldn't be something that I would purchase. So now I just kind of want to speak to some products that I think that I had not tried before I put them in my Mini Madness that really were kind of standout products for me. And one that's kind of like a standout, but it's a meh standout. And I'll explain why. First one up here is the Core Organics uh, Noni Glow Face Oil. Oh my God, I loved this face oil. I thought this face oil was just amazing. I really, really did enjoy it. I know it's a little bit pricey, but this is something that I do, I am considering purchasing a full size of. It's sitting in my cart at Sephora right now, waiting for springtime VIB, which usually comes in May. So we will see, but I thought this was just a standout dynamite, fantastic product that actually surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much as I did. The Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. I really, really like this. I think it did exactly what it said it was gonna do. It gave huge volume to my lashes. It didn't really do much for lengthening, but the volume it gave was really nice. It was a really good formula. I love the shape of kind of like the hourglass brush that it's got going on there. I thought that was amazing. I just really thought I was kind of floored. Ah, oh, the Drunk Elephant number nine, Beste Jelly Cleanser. Oh my God, this stuff was so good. Uh, it was so good, in fact, that my daughter loved it so much that she bought a full size of it. Let me tell you something so flippin' amazing about this sample, though. That's how it opens. It's got a twist lock squeezy cap. Oh my God, that had us like, oh yes, that's what we want. Sad fact, when you buy the full size, it's a freaking flip top cap, or it's an unscrew off cap. It's not this locking cap i we were so disappointed both of us more so her because she bought it i didn't but that was so disappointing like really drunk elephant so on your sample you you pull us in not only because it's an amazing cleanser but it's got an amazing closing locking delivery system that it just makes this great and then on the full size you put a crappy cap on it totally disappointed by that but really do like this cleanser it's really really good next up the clinique moisture surge Oh my God, I so fell in love with this moisturizer. It's such a good moisturizer. Problem with me is that dang delivery system. That's the only thing that keeps me from going out and buying a full size of this is that it is a jar that I have to stick my hands in. And for me, I mean, I know I can get little spoons. I know it's my hands. I know they're clean. That's not how OCD works, guys. <laughs> I know all these things. It's an irrational fear, okay? It's a, it's just, a, it's an irrational thing. I can't get over it. I wish they would put it like in a squeezy tube or even in one of those kind of air, like airless pumps where you push down on it and a little bit of product comes out. I would be sold on this because this stuff's amazing. The Lancome Sills Booster uh, Mascara Primer. I thought this was an amazing mascara primer. Like I am not a primer person. I believe that a mascara should do its job. But I will say when I use this, it gave me dang near false lash looks. I mean, it lengthened like no tomorrow and was not difficult to get off. That was the other part that I couldn't get over that it really wasn't that hard to get off. It went on like a dream. It separates, but man, the length this stuff adds. Would I buy this? Maybe. The first and only ever Makeup Forever product, complexion product I've ever liked. Uh, this is something I definitely will be purchasing a full size of. I've already talked about it. It's already in my cart on Sephora. It is the Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. This is basically not much more than a tinted moisturizer. I don't even know if it really falls under the realm of BB cream per se, but let me tell you, 
for what it is, the coverage on this is amazing. And the last product that I really, really loved until the end of it. Um, and that is this from Bare Minerals. This is the Dew Mist Setting Spray. I love this. Oh my gosh, it put out such a pretty, um, just gave the skin such a good, hydrated, healthy looking finish at the end. But when I got to the end of this use, I mean, did you guys see that? Did you hear it? Look at, I mean, it's coming out in a straight stream. One day I went to go finish my makeup, you know, give it a really good shake, went to psh, psh, and it, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a stream. It's a stream of mess and I'm spraying setting spray like everywhere, which is fine. I don't know, has anybody else experienced this with the full size? If they could let me know that maybe it's just the small bottles delivery system. Um, if you have used a full size of this and you've made it to the end and repurchased it, did you have that problem where at the end of the product, it just squirted out a stream of product in your face? Let me know down below in the comments because I would really love to love this product and I'd love to add it to my cart because I really love what it does. I really, really did. <laughs> so that was kind of like the standout products that were on my mini madness. There are some products that I was just like, had to go like from the first time using them. Again, I will link that playlist down below. You can watch all those videos. I kind of don't want to go into that, make this video forever long, but without any further ado, let's get into mini madness 3.0. I kind of want to put myself on a goal this year and say I want to hit 40. I mean, I hit 35 last year. I think I can hit 40 this year. I really, really think I can if I try really hard. So I'm going to try really hard. First product up, mascara. <laughs> uh, I always love to put a mascara in here. One, because I know I'm only going to use it for three months and then, you know, I'm going to toss that out and pull a new one in. But this is a mascara that I, I do love. I really, really do. Um, it is the Lancome Hypnostrama. Next up, we put in a face mask because you know what? I always end up putting a face mask and I never get through it. And gosh darn it, I really want to get through this one. Uh, this one comes to us from Pharmacy. This is the Honey Potion. Next up, I threw in this little foundation here because I can't remember if this is my color or not. I think it is. Uh, but it is Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I haven't had a bottle of Double Wear in probably about five years. I decided to put this one in here. My poor lips. <sighs> you know that try on lipstick video, guys? My lips have been in such bad shape for like three weeks. That's how long ago, unfortunately, I filmed that video and I just haven't had time to get it up. Um, but ever since then, my lips have been in hell. Like literal. Like they are so chip chapped around the edges and all of the treatments in the world are just not seeming to help. But this is the Hemp's Lip Sugar Scrub. So we are definitely going to give this a try and see if we can't help restore those lips. I've been wanting to try this puppy out. I've had this like forever. Um, and I just hadn't got a chance to give it a try. It was in the rotation, um, but it is the cover FX. This is the mattifying primer and this is with anti-acne treatment. Next up here, we have another mask. Um, and this one comes from a uh, Biosense. This is a squalene tea tree detox mask. And I've been kind of, I don't know, playing this game with primer for eyeshadow. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And then I throw in two gimmies here. Uh, the first one is this Amika 3D Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. I'll definitely give it a try. It's supposed to be volume and thickening conditioner. My hair needs neither one of those two things. But hey, if it's good conditioner, it's good conditioner. And if it's good shampoo, it's good shampoo. So we'll definitely give it a try. And then we have these little guys here, which again is another gimme, but there are 10 of them in here. Um, so I get you know, get to try these out for like two weeks, really, because I do take a couple of days off of my normal skincare. But this is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads to help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. And last but not least, and now I know that even though this breaks all of my rules, I, I still want to at least try it um, because I do know that this one does come in a delivery system that I enjoy. Um, but this is from Drunk Elephant and this is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And so that is it. That is everything that is going into round one of Mini Madness 3.0. I am so excited to be embarking on this. Uh, definitely make sure you check the description box down below. I will link my other Mini Madness playlist down there so that you can watch those. Also, there is a link to check out Aura's channel since she did create this wonderful project that I just absolutely love doing. Definitely go check out her channel, show her some love. 
Also, my friend here on YouTube, Lena, who's just, I just love her to death. I really, really do. She does some amazing makeup looks. She does a lot of panning projects. So if that's really your thing, she really gets into a lot of those as well. Uh, she does, you know, candy tasting with her husband. She's just a fun person all the way around. Check out her channel as well, because I know she's doing the Mini Madness Project Pan as well. Once again, I, of course, want to thank you as always for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And as always, before you leave, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on any videos that I have coming up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.